Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to make Nginx serve static files instead of Node.js. So our current deployment architecture looks like this, with Node.js serving the static through Nginx. But now what we want to do is we want to make Nginx serve static itself without even hitting Node.js. It's very easy to do. Let's go to our server and uh, start editing our config. And it's here in conf.d nanogram io. So the only thing that we really need to do is uncomment this line. Root is the place where Nginx will be looking for static files if no other location blocks came into play. So obviously we will need to fix this path to point to our real application static files and they are in the home folder of our safe user, which is here home, Yuri, easy io, public. Make sure you didn't do any typos here in this pass. If you do, you will see 404 errors. So if you see 404 instead of your index HTML, just double check that the pass is correct. Okay, but now this part of configuration will never come into play. Why? Because we have a location block that captures each and every possible location, which is location forward slash. So Nginx will never have to look for those static files. So in order to make sure that Nginx will really look for static files in that folder, we can just get rid of this block. But I will not do that right now. I'll just comment it out because I will need this block in just a couple of minutes and you'll soon see why. So now let's save and create with this configuration and uh, restart Nginx. Now let's go to our easy IO and refresh the page. And what you will see here is 403 forbidden. I deliberately decided to put this one in video to just show you the very typical error that you will have with Nginx. 403 forbidden means that your Nginx users doesn't have an access to one of the folders on your Linux machine. So let's go here and explore what are the access rights to our static folder and all the upper level folders. So what I will do here is I will call name i minus om and I will pass the absolute pass to the directory that I'm interested in and it is home yuri easy io public. So let's look at the access rights. Here this is a problematic folder. This is a home folder and only user itself has the access rights to this folder and specifically I'm interested in this one x execute. X permission for the folder means that you can CD into that folder. And obviously, if Nginx user doesn't have this permission, he cannot CD here in and in any folder below. So we can fix it by just giving X rights to everyone to all. But what we can also do, we can assign this folder to Nginx group and give group permissions instead. So since this strategy will be a little bit more restrictive, I don't want to give X rights to just everyone I will do right that. So the first thing to do is to change the ownership to this folder to Yuri and Nginx. So I'll keep the user the same and I'm just changing the group from Yuri to Nginx. And the pass to the folder, home Yuri. Awesome, now I need to give this group the permissions to execute this folder, do X. So chmod group plus X to home Yuri. So group will get X permissions. And now let's see how this permission look like right now. See, X here means that Nginx will be able to execute to CD into this folder. Now, without even restarting Nginx, let's see if that works. Okay, it works, but obviously our XHR test is not passing. Somehow our APIs are not available. Let's now go back to our config and fix this. Where's our config? Here it is. So why we cannot access API? Our API is here. API test. So here's we've got 404 not found. Why this happens? Because Nginx is trying to find this file API test. Obviously there is no file in this root folder like this. So what you get is 404 error. What we need to do is we need to tell Nginx that API is actually a special pass, just like socket IO. And we need to do the proxy pass to Node.js for it. So let's uncomment this block. Now you see why we needed it. Uncommon this one and we say that for API calls, everything that starts from API, we do proxy pass to API. Now, since we changed the config, we need to restart Nginx. System CTL restart Nginx. This time it restarted quite quickly. 
Now let's test if our API is available and it is. And now if I go to Nanogram IO, both my Socket IO APIs and my XHR APIs are working. So Nginx is serving static files indeed instead of Node.js. So just to make sure to triple check that Node.js is not doing anything for static files, let's become our user again. Pseudo Suyuri. Let's go back. Oh, typo again. Let's go to our home folder and uh, let's stop all the applications, right? So now Node.js is not working at all, but we should still be able to receive index.html file because Nginx is serving it and not Node. Let's restart and you see index.html is still there, but you're not being able to receive heartbeats or XHR test. This means that Node.js is not serving static files anymore and we can move on to the next step of our configuration. See you in the upcoming videos.